Jesus Heals part three on are we believing a lie that Jesus died for our sins. We realized last video that it's not necessarily a lie but it is a half truth because when we read that word for sins in our Bible we think we are hearing the things that we do. We think that word is a verb but 75% of the time it's a different word. It is a noun meaning that is something that you are. It's a person or it's a place, it's a thing. And most of the time, when we're talking about what Jesus has done with sin, he's talking about the noun, someone you used to be, something that used to rule your life, and Jesus actually dealt with that. That is amazing news because that changes everything for the life of a Christian. Most of the church is still living in a sinner identity. We call ourselves sinners saved by grace. No, that happened. That was a, an event that I give thanks for. But that whole event was for a purpose, not to keep me as a sinner saved by grace, but for me to become a new noun called the righteousness of God. I've now moved from sinner to righteous, not based on what I did, based on what Jesus has done. By Adam's works, he put everybody into sin the noun, your sinners. What Jesus has done, he has now changed that to a new identity called righteousness. Paul understands this because when he writes his letters to the church, he doesn't start them, greetings sinners, no. He says, greetings saints, how do we live that out? was the question we asked the last video. And the key lies in knowing why maybe we still sin. And we look all the way back to the garden and we see Adam, the first humanity, and we go, why did Adam sin? It's the same question we ask ourselves. Why do we sin? Adam sinned the moment he took his eyes off of who God says he was and started to think he needed to become who God said he was. Big difference right? God said some things about Adam from the beginning. He said, you are very good. You're blessed. We can find this in Genesis. And you're, you are made in my image and likeness. You're like me. You're an offspring of me. Then he heard another idea, which said, if you do something, if you do this, if you eat this, if you fill in the blank, then you will become like God. So there's two trees in that garden. One says you are, one says you must become. When you start eating from the tree of you must become, that's a destiny for failure and death. It's what keeps us in the sinner identity mindset. But when we live in that new righteous identity, seeing ourselves as God has declared us, that you are blessed, that you are very good, and Jesus now has called us righteous. He's put us in his identity. Now the byproduct of the tree is good fruit because I'm seeing myself the way that he made me. I'm not tempted by the things that are saying, hey, you're something else. You need to become this. So let's remember Jesus's words for you. And he says, you are the branch and I am the vine. He isn't saying you must become the branch. One day you'll be the branch. If you keep working very hard, what you will finally be a branch. No, he says you are. So guys, my message for you is that you are righteous. So now go be who you really are. Hey guys, like, comment, or leave questions. Thanks for watching this video. Jesus Heals talking to you soon.